Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to create a basic bouncing ball in Adobe After Effects CS5. So open After Effects, go to Composition, New Composition, and uh, I set my frame rate to 30. 1920 by 280 is a bit high. I'd like to go to 1280 by 720, which is 720p. 30 frames a second. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we go to composition, composition settings, in order to change your background colour to anything but black. I'm going to change it to dark red, for example. Okay. And then set that there. So that's composition, composition settings, or control K, or command K on a Mac. Um, next, we go to the shape tool selection, ellipse tool, hold down shift and left click and drag and let go. Created a shape. Go back to the selection tool, double click, sorry, single click anywhere on the background. Highlight the ball you've drawn and then click on the pan behind tool and you see this anchor point here you hold down control and drag the anchor point until it aligns itself in the middle of the ball and that's reset your anchor point go back to the selection tool okay this strokes horrible we'll get rid of that no stroke by selecting no stroke here none Okay, <clears throat> so <clears throat> what we've done is created a basic 2D ball on a 2D background. All the layers in this composition are 2D and no 3D layers whatsoever. So now we go to shape layer, press P for position, and then uh, we go to the timeline. Sorry, and we trim the work area down to two seconds and then in the time navigator we get a much better resolution by dragging it right to the left and this is the beginning so I'll click the position stopwatch to create a keyframe for the beginning of the comp and then I go to two seconds and I drag the ball where I want it to end up. And you'll see it create keyframes in between. So now if you slide backs and forwards, you've got a very boring looking ball traveling between the uh, start position and end position. It's not what we want. We want it to have some life. Okay, so what we're gonna do, press the home key to go back to frame one or frame zero, and then and then what I do is I click the graph editor. Okay. Position. Now you click on this separate dimensions button here and you'll get the X which is red and the Y which is green. Okay. And they're displayed separately. Now then the X position is the um, left to right position of the ball. Now you can see these two keyframes here are linear. <clears throat> if you drag around those two keyframes, the box, and then go to convert selected keyframes to linear, they're now linear. Okay. Now then. Here comes the interesting part, the Y position. This is the top to bottom, shall we say. Okay, this is the last keyframe here, where the ball's on the bottom right hand side of the screen. So we select that keyframe, and no, don't right click it, sorry. We select it, control C to copy it, or edit copy 
and then we'll basically go back to some stage earlier in time and paste that keyframe uh, another 10 frames on, sorry, another 5 frames on. Uh, let's say 10 frames on from there. So from, so from 5 frames to 15 frames is 10 frames. Paste that keyframe with the borders at the bottom right there again. This is on the Y position only. And then paste it here again. And again. And gradually lessen the gaps between keyframes as you get towards the end. <clears throat> now, that's created keyframes um, basically on the y-axis. So, we need to make this ball bounce. So it's traveling from the top to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is click on the first keyframe, hold down Alt and drag on the right hand side on the Bezier handle so the arc goes something like that and let go. Uh, same for the second one position your cursor above the uh, keyframe hold down alt and drag on the right hand side and make the arc peak reach about two thirds of the height of the height of the last peak and so on. For this one here too you hold down alt drag and let the peak hit about two thirds and again here so the peak reaches about roughly two thirds and again here Drag the video handle so the influence creates the peak of about two thirds of the height of the previous peak. Um, the last keyframe, I can grab that and drag that along here. It's in the wrong place, I feel, so back here a bit. And then hover, alt, clip, drag. About two thirds. Okay, let's try that, shall we? Not bad at all. Let's click off to get rid of those horrible paths. Not the best bounce in the world, but it's a pretty good start. So there you go. That's how to create a basic bouncing ball in Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. Thank you.